getting recruited by the University of Pittsburgh was really special because me coming out of high school, I didn't have too many offers. They gave me a scholarship on the spot as a defensive end, actually. Throughout my last couple games of high school, I got a call saying when I get here, they want to try me out at running back. And so when I got here, I stepped foot on campus, it was that running back. Here's Connor. Connor spins away from a man still on his feet at the 25, 20, 15, 10. He goes for the pylon and he goes for the touchdown. James Connor, the freshman from Erie McDowell, his second of the game, and it was a work of art. I can remember the Notre Dame game. That was like my time where I felt like I played at this level and playing this league. I had two touchdowns and we won that game over ranked Notre Dame. It was a really special game. You know, late in the season, bowl game, where I played a little bit defensive end in that game too. Got a rush on the quarterback, set the ball game, rushing record. Those memories, you know, they'll last forever. Coming into my sophomore year, a lot of hard work was put in in that offseason. And throughout that whole year, everybody was blocking great. The play call and everything was, was phenomenal and let me have a huge season, which led to ACC Player of the Year. Connor through the hole and he's going to go all the way. Connor breaks. He's at the five. He's into the end zone for the Panther touchdown. He knocked the defender flat in the hole. And Connor is going to get around the block by Paris. He's at the five. He's at the three. He's into the end zone. James Connor would not be denied. Man's on a mission. He's a flat out monster. Very honored to win this award. Had a great role model last year in Aaron Donald. You know, he always said the same thing, hard work pays off. And um, this whole offseason, that's been my motto. Thanks to Aaron for, you know, setting the standard for me. I uh, want them offensive line, uh, all my coaches. Everybody plays a part in this, and I'm just really thankful. Let's go. After winning ACC Player of the Year, coming into my junior year, I had a lot of goals for myself. First game of the season versus Youngstown, I tear my knee. You know, I was devastated. Just having to watch my teammates compete, you know, it was rough. Rehabbing from my knee, I knew something wasn't right. Felt a little sickness, and everything was, you know, confusing to me. I was having night sweats, and I kept trying to take different prescriptions to see what would work. But nothing was really working for me, and then I ended up going to the ear, nose, and throat specialist to get a scan, the X-ray, and then that's how we found out about the diagnosis. Just a few days ago, I actually been diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a cancer. Um, when I heard I got cancer, you know, I was I was a little scared. You know, but fear is a choice. You know, I chose not to fear cancer. We're going to fight it and we're going to beat this thing. It was a rough day having to break the news to family and friends and teammates. You know, that was, that's not fun. But I knew that they were going to stick behind me the whole time and, and help me get through it. And I didn't go through that process alone. Receiving chemotherapy is rough. You get real tired, you get drained, worn out, bad taste in your mouth. It's not a fun experience. But luckily, in the college football world and professional world, a lot of people reached out to me, just sending prayers and well wishes, trying to make uh, my days uh, easier. Even at my worst, I knew my teammates had my back, just always being there. You know, some of the guys came and visited me while I was receiving treatment at the hospital. Throughout this whole process, my teammates been right there for me. That's why I'm brother. From everyone that I've ever talked to that is, has gone through chemo, mm -hmm. it wears you down. It makes you so tired. How can you, it looks like you're full on practicing. How, how are you do, doing that? Uh, we got a game September 3rd, you know, so I got to be ready. I owe it to my teammates, you know, in the whole city of Pittsburgh to be ready. The yeah, Ellen DeGeneres show was real fun. My first time out there in California. And Ellen, she's real down to earth and she's just a, a phenomenal person. It was awesome to meet her. Eric Berry coming out on the show, surprising me. So for his support, he, he knew firsthand what it was like. So uh, his support meant a lot to me. So we all good? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Receiving a call was one of the greatest days of my life, just telling me that I'm cancer free and I could return back to doing everything I love, which is playing football again. Right after I got that phone call, it was time to start working out to get ready for the 2016 season. Dr. Chandler Marks putting a great plan in place for me to get healthy. All my nurses at the UPMC facility helped me out so much and head up my trainer, Rob Blank, strength and conditioning coaches, including that coach Andrews. Uh, everybody just had my back and was by my side. Working out, trying to get back for the season was, was kind of tough. Only had two months to do it. Wearing a mask was rough. My immune system and everything was real low at the time. I was at risk to get sick, so I had to wear that for a little prevention. I always told myself, no excuses. I have to get ready because this team needs me. You know, I'm a leader on this team. And so everything, I had to do everything, take the right steps to get ready for the season. We are honored to have you here to kick off the Major League Baseball season by throwing out the ceremonial first pitch. Here is Pittsburgh Panther James Conner.
for me to be honored at the Pittsburgh Pirates game and throw out the first pitch on MLB uh, was also, uh, you know, a great moment. I'm not a baseball player, so to throw, uh, if I could get that back, I would. But it was still fun to be uh, honored there. It was a great day. My teammates to vote me as team captain. I told them you know, I didn't want them to just elect me a team captain as sympathy for what I've been through, but through my leadership, my hard work, dedication to the game, and every day how I come to work and, and just lead by example. And so they have voted me team captain, and I don't take that lightly. And when I have that C on my jersey, uh, I represent it to the fullest. First game of the season, I was just very excited to be back out there. It took me a little longer than I would like to get back into the rhythm. They give to Connor. He's going to try the outside left. Stiff arm, goal line, touchdown. James Connor and Heinz Field erupts. Game versus Penn State was a huge game. It was unreal atmosphere. It was just a lot of fun. Give it straight ahead to Connor. He goes through a hole and he's on his way. 30, 25, still on his feet at the 20. Again, James Connor would not be tackled. A hard fought game the whole time. My whole teammates, offense and defense, everybody came out battling. And for us to come on top and be the best in Pennsylvania is truly special. Shovel pass, running with the football, touchdown Panthers, James Conner. Let's go, it's all out, it's all out. Yeah, it took me a little longer than I would like for me to get into the rhythm. Late in the season, I started you know, coming along. Right when we had some big games, I felt like I'm back to my normal side. Coming into the Clemson week, we uh, were very confident in ourselves. We played for one another that game and played the full game to our best potential. We came out on top. And for us to go up into Death Valley and knock off the number two team in the nation, that game will be remembered for many years to come. And the handoff and reversing field to the right is Connor. Stiff arms a man. Turns the corner. Oh. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. <laughs> Touchdown, Panthers! James Connor took it 20 yards to the house. <laughs> It is my great honor to present the Disney Spirit Award to University of Pittsburgh running back, James Conner. I mean, with that cancer, I don't care if you're black or white, you know, anything, it comes and it comes hard. So you just like everybody else and you, I'm no better than nobody else. Uh, they're talking to play football and I get this exposure, but it's people out there fighting. They don't get this. They don't get to receive any awards if, if they win and when they win. And so uh, this is for all of us. Through this process, I just learned to always be grateful for everything and for every day. You know, it's bigger than the game, and there's a lot of people in this world that need help, so I just hope that I can touch them and, and they see hope when they look at me. Later down the line, I hope to start my own foundation one day and just do as much as I can to give back because I've had so much support through my journey. I believe it's my turn to give back, and I'm excited to do it. I can't say thank you enough for everything the University of Pittsburgh done for me, just giving me the opportunity to come here, to stay close to home and play. And I felt that with me coming here, I can make a difference in the program. And whenever my time is up here, I just, I really believe that I left it better than I found it. And it's gonna keep continuing to be on the uprise and, and Pitt's gonna be back on top pretty soon. I love this place, I love this university. I'm a Panther for life, hail to Pitt.